Hello. Um, today I'm out mobile, out in the car. Uh, I've got a new um, antenna to use to try out. So this is going to be a review of the Ampro 20 mobile antenna for 20 meters. Uh, it arrived this morning. I've um, I've tried it at home with the antenna analyzer and got the SWR pretty much factory set anyway, um, and it you know it works uh, with a low SWR in the middle of the twenty meter band. So um, I've got it in the back of the car. Uh, and I'm just going to put it together, put it onto the roof, and I'm going to use a X108 Zago, X Zago, uh, X108G, uh, and I've got a um, a lipo battery to uh, use on that as well, and uh, see if I can make any contacts on 20 meters. Um, when I looked at the band conditions, it said 20 meters was flat. I don't know. I don't believe it. I think you just better put a call out or just uh, flick around. So uh, it's a review of the Ampro 20 um, using the X108 and um, using a LiPo battery because I've not got anything rigged up in here to give me a battery battery power. And um, the mission uh, is to make three contacts on 20 meters. Uh, my last go was uh, making three contacts on 10 meters um, on the previous video uh, and I only got managed to get two out of three. So again today trying to get two contacts, sorry three contacts on 20 meters using the mobile uh, whip antenna and uh, follow with it a little bit of a review uh, see how I found um, how I found working with it. So stick along and hopefully we'll get a mission completed. Bye bye for now. One of the um, first things about this is it's so long. I think it's 2.2 meters or something. So for a small car like this, uh, it's too small to go in in one piece. So I have to uh, take it apart and fasten it up again. Uh, and to have that on the roof, I think I'd have to have a triple mount rather than a singular mount. But um, for now, this will have to do. Um, the risk is that keep undoing, uh, it just screws into here, this top piece. Let's have a go. This top piece just screws into that, but I don't know how long, I keep, how many times I keep doing this without actually disrupting it. So. Uh, Anyway, let's get onto the uh, car and then let's have a review of it. Okay, I've got the uh, Zegu X108 in here with a battery. This is quite a nice little pack, this is. It's, um, I've just got it off eBay or Amazon, one of those sort of sites. Uh, it's not it's not branded, I don't think, um, but it's decent. It's got plenty of pockets. Plenty of uh, everyday carry type uh, pockets. Uh, enough room in there for the radio battery and then in this top pocket I've got the uh, fist mic as well. So let's get this set up. Let's just uh, double check the SWR and then let's see what's happening on the 20 meters. Okay. Um, this is a very useful feature on the X108. It's got a built-in frequency analyzer, so you can tell you where the um, tells you where the lowest SWR is on the frequency. Luckily, it's got this built in because I've not brought, uh, brought with me an SWR meter or my frequency analyzer. Uh, when I actually just reach over here, when I when I use this underneath the mag mount the, it really gave me a poor ground and the SWR was uh, stupid height now that I've removed that 
directly onto the roof of the, the uh, car, which I don't like because obviously I'm going to increase the chances of scratches, but this was really, really uh, poor. So what I might do is actually put this back on one day, but try and take a ground wire of some type or a braid and try and fasten, find a way of directly fastening that to the um, inside the boot or inside one of the hinges or something. It's quite busy. Two Echo Zero. Echo Zulu eight, please. Two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango Mobile. Uh, Echo Zulu eight, uh, Roger China uh, Mobile. Please for Fox One Alpha, Victor Echo. Yeah, good, good afternoon. It's Two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango Mobile Station. The name is Carl, Charlie, Alpha, Romeo, Lima, QSL. Roger, Roger, it's two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango, Echo Zanzibar, Texas, QSL. Echo Zanzibar, Foxtrot, is correct? Negative, negative, Echo Zanzibar, Texas, Texas, Tango, Texas, QSL. Uh, Roger, Roger, Tango, Tango, Echo Sierra Tango, Roger. <laughs> Echo Zulu Tango, Echo Zulu Tango. Echo Zulu Tango, Echo Zulu Tango, Echo Zulu Tango, correct? Yeah, Roger, Roger, yeah, you're giving me a 5-9, into Central UK, QSL. Yeah, seven three goes. Good luck. Bye bye. There's one. Mexico zero Victor X ray Alpha Papa Delta one Lima Victor. Bye bye seventy three seventy three. Thank you, Val. Two Echo zero. The station two Echo zero. Come again. Two Echo zero Echo Zulu Tango Mobile. Yeah, Roger, Roger, yes. The name is Carl, Charlie, Alpha, Romeo, Lima. And you're giving me a 5758 five, into Central UK, QSL. Okay, uh, Carl, your signal is also uh, the same on this side. 5757, five, uh, very good uh, clean, clear uh, modulation, uh, Carl. A very, uh, very good signal uh, from over there. Yeah, Roger, thank you very much. I'm using 20 watts through a Zegu 108G radio into a hamstick, well, into a mobile whip antenna, QSL. Okay, then it's, uh, it's uh, pertinent, uh, very good signal, uh, very loud and clear uh, for the mobile station, over. Yeah, Roger, Roger, thank you very much. Yes, a lot, a lot of people do say that the Zegu 108 has got a very good microphone processor. Once you get this set up, the microphone is nice and punchy. QSL? Oh. Oh, come on. 
Two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango. Two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango, mobile. Yeah, Roger, Roger, thank you very much. You are also a 5757 five here into central UK. I'm situated halfway between Manchester and Birmingham, uh, currently using 20 watts into a whip antenna, QSL. Yeah, thank you very much, Mercy Buku. And 73, catch you later on. Bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> Mission complete. Okay, that's mission completed. I've managed to get three contacts. I, mean, I could have got three or four, four or five. I've just run out of time. Um, the Ampro 20. I'll give that a big thumbs up actually. Seems though it's a uh, compromised uh, mobile antenna. Uh, it was pulling in lots of signals uh, and I've managed to uh, search and pounce uh, quite quite successfully with it. Um, I've not tried uh, putting any CQ calls out. Um, I don't know if it's really worth on such low power uh, to try and spend an hour putting CQ calls out. Um, the Zegu 108, 20 watts, but I'll tell you what, the, the microphone on it, the, uh, the, the processing, the, the punch that the microphone has, I think two, maybe three of the contacts that I've made have all um, uh, complemented on the audio and it does, it does make a big difference having real good, strong, punchy audio because if you're only running 5, 10, 15, 20 watts and with a compromised antenna, you're going to need all the help you can you, you can get. So, seeing as though the um, the propagation conditions said that 20 meters wasn't going to be very good, in a space of about 40 minutes, I've got three contacts, and I've could have got more. So, um, it's a decent setup. Uh, I'll be interested to see how it does uh, using 50 watts uh, with my FT8. Five seven, um, but and maybe with better conditions. But I've done okay today, quite happy with that. The LiPo battery, it's one of those um, zippy, uh, zippy batteries um, that's held up as they always do, uh, no problem with that. So, uh, yeah, uh, good, a good day out, a good, quick mobile um, activation. So happy man now, and uh, you know, back to work. That was an extended lunch break, so back to work now, and uh, hopefully, see you soon.